I pray that you get a chance to come back again and hear the words of the That's Lord right. preached and taught as it was in the days of the apostles. We thank and praise God for God being so merciful and so kind and patient with every one of us. But he would allow us and spare our life to give That's us true. another day. That's not promised, but God had mercy upon us and allowed us to be in the land of the living. Keep Pastor Jennings in prayer because we know he's dealing with so many things, not just here in America, but things overseas and things that we don't know about. The man of God is dealing with by God's permission, so keep him in prayer. I'm thankful how God spared his life and blessed him to see another birthday. I certainly thank and praise God for how God allowed him to see yet another birthday. I believe he's 60 years old. And that is a great, a great blessing. And God spared the life of a man of God because that man is the one that God deals with. And that man is the one that God is giving revelation and knowledge and mystery to about the scriptures. I'm thankful for the times even when we got a chance to communicate how he taught me the scriptures day and night. I'm thankful for all those times and I'm thankful for how God blessed him with a good wife and children. It's a wonderful thing. Keep all of them in prayer. That God would strengthen them and bless them and help them where they stand in need at. I have no idea what it's like to be a real man of God. I have no idea what it's like to have God appear to you and to have God speak. I thought that. And have God speak with you and how you communicate with God. And then God talk back to you. We have somebody in our midst that God is dealing with. We have somebody in our midst that God Almighty actually sent to preach the gospel. Somebody in our midst that God is using so that souls may come to him. And look at the amount of souls that are repenting and being baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ. Thousands and thousands of people have went down in water in the name of Jesus Christ. And I'm thankful also for those that have received the Holy Ghost speaking in tongues. So we're in the right thing. We're in the right religion. We're in the religion of God. The religion of God, of course, is holiness. There is no religion like that because that is the religion that God is in. God himself is holy. God is not Baptist. God is not Methodist. God is not Presbyterian. God is not a Catholic. God is not a Muslim. God is not non-denominational. You know, you got that belief going around too. God is not Pentecostal. God is not apostolic. What is God? God is holy. God is a holy God, and he have holy commandments, and he have a holy word. God let the word be documented. Let it be put on record so that men and women would know what to do. Not only that, God send a preacher and give them the Wonderful. ability. Yeah. Ah, there's the apostle. Be seated, brothers and sisters. Hi. Greetings, brothers and sisters. Hey. Once again, we are thankful to the one God for blessing us to be present. Yes. Thank God. We're glad for all of you that are here this afternoon. Thank God. For encouraging remarks that I'm pretty sure Elder Williams gave. Thank God. Was you up here long? Not that long. Oh, that's good. <laughs> We thank God for his divine wisdom and, as always, his perfect understanding of all things, <clears throat> for being the true sender of holy prophets and of holy apostles. Most of all, the way of holiness that God has given to us as a gift. And that's what it is. Holiness 
is a gift. It's a gift that God has lent to us while we are alive, but this gift also lasts throughout eternity. Holiness will never come to an end because holiness is the thoughts and the intelligence and the ways of God and there is no ending to God, so his ways will never cease. We are blessed. I want to thank all of the brothers and sisters internationally, you that are here for the thousands of birthday wishes that have came in. We thank you kindly for your consideration and, and uh, the thousands of statements made over social media and letters and whatnot. Uh, people who's not even part of First Church of the Lord Jesus Christ, but have a great appreciation for this message. Uh, if John back there, turn me up, John. Turn me up good and loud and turn Williams up good and loud before I dive into our spiritual medical book. Amen. Turn me up loud in advance back there. It won't hurt nobody. All right, let me give you an update on the baptisms that we have. I believe this is a one-week report. 18 in headquarters, one in Pine Bush, New York. Nine in Bronx, 14 in Baltimore, four in Charlotte, North Carolina, two in Raleigh. Two in Rocky Mount, eight in Atlanta, two in Memphis, six in Orlando, two in Houston, three in Federal Way, Washington. That's the state of Washington. Two in Los Angeles, three in North Chicago, five in Detroit, one in Fresno, California, four in Indianapolis, 21 in Springfield, Missouri, five in Toronto, Canada, three in Abbotsford, Canada. One in Botswana, South Africa, 116 in one week. So that's a blessing. So again, we are thankful for God's intervention. God has involved himself in all of our affairs. And God has altered many things in our lives because if he wouldn't have, we would have been cut off. That's true. You can look back at your life and, and now you can see where the hand of God was involved when you were ignorant of him. A lot of times we didn't know it was God. We thought it was a coincidence or something odd or out of the ordinary took place. And now when you look back, you can see how God's intervention stepped in. And nobody here can say they deserved it. I can't say it, you can't say it, but we all can be thankful for it. Amen. Also, let us be prayerful for the citizens of Turkey and Syria. The word of God again was fulfilled there. The Lord says there shall be earthquakes in diverse places. I've been telling my wife for quite some time, I got the strangest feeling that one of these trips that I'm on in the foreign countries, I may end up in a massive earthquake or tsunami, something. I believe God would get us out of it, but I wouldn't be surprised because the areas we go to have these forms of calamity. I want to greet all the brothers and sisters of the truth of God in Macedonia. God willing, I'm trying to fit you in our schedule. I don't have enough time in a year to go to all the places that I have to go overseas souls are flocking in just as much as those here in America. And we're scheduled to go to Macedonia. I have to meet with my, first time I had to meet with my traveling team three times. 
But this is my third go around. I have some things. So to all the churches here in America, your anniversaries still will take place. But that doesn't mean that I'm going to be there. Some of the ministers may speak in our place because I just have a lot of other places to go. So your anniversaries will go on as schedule. We are consolidating the light up, a lot of them, combining them. Because the work have grown, so besides each individual having theirs, we're starting to just put them all together. And that still don't give me the room. Uh, because there are so many new locations now. So God willing, Macedonia, we're working on setting up dates for you. Dubai, the country of Dubai, I'm an architect lover. And Dubai has some extraordinary architect. And the first church of the Lord Jesus Christ is in Dubai. We have a beautiful sized group there, still growing. We also have a new work in Indonesia and other parts of the Philippines and uh, Malaysia. And these are areas where we physically have to get there. I, I'm a, I'm a hands-on person. I'm not the type of man who's satisfied sitting just you seeing us over the air. No, I love to physically get there, mingle with God's people, seeing what needs do they have, and how can we be a help to them. Not just sit and see emails, but physically go there, roll up our sleeves, labor and work. That's what this is about. There's a convenience here in America that you won't have or find in many places we go to. I remember when I, some years ago, I'm in Jamaica every year, but some years ago, T.D. Jakes was there a week, I believe, before I got there. And he went to Kingston, and I end up in Kingston the following week. We had many thousands there, but he wouldn't stay in Kingston. Right. Kingston is the capital. Right. It was too rough for Jake's. Yeah. Oh, too soft. Too soft. Right. He stayed at the resort. Yeah. So they can show him back and forth or fly him back and forth. But even then, if people wanted to sit close to him, I believe he charged them, if I'm not mistaken, five to $10,000 per person who wanted to sit close to him. And then if you sit at a reasonable distance, then the price got lower, which is a shame. You can sit next to me, and I won't charge you a dime. The only thing I'm going to charge you with is give your life to God. That's the best thing you can ever give. So we have a lot going on this year, as always. Um, the International Convocation is coming up, or should I say the Youth Conference. International Youth Conference is coming up in April, Easter week. As I often say, no, we don't celebrate Easter, but we choose that week because the children's schools are closed. So we hope to see you in Greensboro, North Carolina, by the thousands. Remember that Saturday service is at 4 o'clock, but there will be a mandatory church business meeting at 3 o'clock. That way you come to service already dressed for service. Be on time for the business meeting that Saturday at 3 o'clock. After the business meeting is over, prayer will start. Wonderful. After prayer, of course, then you go right into service. Also, September of this year is our first combined European Truth of God Conference. Uh -huh. I won't be making a tour through Europe this year, but all the European churches, Belgium, throughout Germany, uh -huh. throughout England, Scotland, Ireland, 
Paris, France, yes. Germany, Amsterdam. All the locations this year will merge in one area. Uh -huh. Amsterdam, the Netherlands, will hold the first combined European conference. And I do hope that many from the states get a chance to be there. Also, this year, I believe in the month of June, yeah. I've been back and forth to Canada. We have followers throughout Canada. But Canada, I hope you're listening. Yeah. This year will be your first Canadian Holy Convocation held in Canada this year. Nice. All the brothers and sisters throughout the country of Canada we have a local telecast there that's covering the entire country, every place. So everybody come and be a part of this first conference. God willing, we'll be in Alaska for the first time this year. Wonderful. We have a beautiful size following in so many different parts of Alaska. Uh, so we're, we have a lot of work to do. And again, I don't have enough time in the year to go to the places where I need to go to. All right, Williams, viewers, you that are here, let's get ready to go to work. This is the best religious program you will run up on, whether it's television, radio, social media, YouTube, I don't care what it is. We're pointing the world to the Bible. Yeah, that's right. Everybody else is pointing you to wealth and prosperity and to several little gods. Yeah. Or they're pointing you to some man-made, weak, cheap religion that man started. I'm pointing you to God. That's it. And the only way I can point you to God is point you to Scripture. That's right. Which is God's words. Yeah. That's right. There are many things that God said, but what he wants us to, to know is in the Scriptures. Yeah. That's right. There are many things that God said that's not in Scripture. The one said, is that scripture? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. What if God said the secret things belong to God? Belong to God. That's right. Somebody say, I want to know everything God said. Listen. First thing first. Come on. Find out what he said right here. And then ask him to help you to obey what's right here. That's it. What's not in here, I ain't worrying about it. Because if you want me to know it, it'll be in here. That's right. It'll be made known. That's right. For the scripture says, search the scriptures. Search the scriptures. You want to know the truth? Search the scriptures. Oh, yeah. The scriptures. There's nothing wrong with reading history and other books, but if I want to know the truth about God, I am not going outside of the scriptures. No way. Search the scriptures. For he advised me, search the scriptures because in them you think you, you have, think eternal, you have life. eternal life. I'm not interested in nothing else. Many of you write me and say, I'm narrow minded. That's right. Touching the Bible, my mind is so narrow. And to the Bible says, straight and narrow is the way, the way. that leads to life. That's Few right. that be that find it. I don't want a broad mind. No way. Like the world. A broad mind like the world will lead you into hell. That's right. Because it will invite all type of confusion. All type of ideology and theory. That's right. I'm broad minded about life. But my mind is not broader than what the word of God says about life. That's right. I want my mind to be scripturally confined to the intelligence of God, the thinking of God, and the emotions of God. That's right. 
I want God to confine my mind to his mind. That's it. I want to say, why would you think like that? The Bible says, let this mind That's right. be in you. Oh, yes. I saw so in Christ Jesus. See, if I have the mind of God, I will respect them as one. That's right. You have a broad mind and go outside of the boundary of Scripture, you're going to have three. That's true. Or you're going to have two. You're going to believe something that God don't believe. That's right. As we said last week on a broadcast, if you want to know whether your belief is right, just go to the Scriptures. Yeah. And say, do you believe what God believes? That's it. Never mind what your organization believes. That's right. Who says your organization believe what God believes? That's right. Organizations, I want you to hear me good. 99.9 of them is founded by some man. That's true. That's right. Who had a vision from Satan. Yep. You're right. To start some religion. Some religion. And then Satan invited him to read some scripture. That's right. That's true. Devil just don't give him some religious spell and send him out running. No, the devil give him a religious spell to make him feel well. <laughs> and then give him scripture without understanding and his ignorance. He think those scriptures justify him. That's right. And starting his religion. That's right. And this is why you have all these churches in one neighborhood. Up and down, even right here on Fifth Street. Yeah. Up and down the street, all these churches, little, some churches so small you think they're restaurants. That's true. That's right. Amen. Some churches you think they're barbershops and they're the churches. Then you got some other churches with a cross on it, and that's all it have is a cross. That's true. The building, hear me good, is not the church. That's right. What makes the church? Church. The church from the Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah. Is when that doctrine, that teaching, that standard is according to the teachings of Christ that he gave his apostles That's with right. no, deviation. no deviation. No deviation. I'm not allowed to integrate or mix my feelings in this. No. Not at all. Not at all. And this is what have caused the churches or the religious world to just spiral out of control. That's right. Everything is in church now, and anything, and they call it church. I have never, never, you can look at any pig, it's nature, is to wallow in slop. Pig don't like to be clean. No. Pig love to be in mud. You find folks in these false churches, they don't want a clean teaching. No. You know, a lot of little kids don't like taking baths. They like being stinky, <laughs> dirty. That's right. Amen. Most of us, when we were little kids, we ain't want to take no bath, especially if we outside playing. And mom and dad come out, all right, come on in here, get your bath. You don't interrupt us playing just yeah. to get in the tub. Yeah. That's right. Let us stink a little while longer. That's right. <laughs> Amen. And when you come in and you thought you're big enough to wash yourself, Give you your soap and your rag. Yeah. And most time we have washed. Responsible parent, I know my father when I, and I remember when I first wanted to wash myself. Yeah. You think you're big enough? Yeah, I, I'm all right. <laughs> he said, all right, but I'm coming back to check. What? My father was the inspector. That's right. Nice. I got my soap, and rubbed it on, rinsed off, boom, done. I said, daddy, I'm done. Before he got in the bathroom, I heard his voice coming down the hall. You ain't done, that's too quick. Amen. I said I washed all over. That's right. He came in the bathroom. He said, hey, it's not even no dirt on the water. Come on, Jay. I said, it ain't got to be dirty. He said, give me your arm. That's right. Hmm. I gave him my arm, yeah. that callous filth thumb. Uh-huh. Rubbed up against my wrist, and that dirt rolled like a scroll. What? Amen. 
He said, you half washed. He said, give me that rag. That's right. That's right. Give me that soap. Man, I felt like I was in a washing machine. <laughs> My father held one arm and he scrubbed me so I, I was moving everywhere. Yeah. But I noticed my wrist was lighter. <laughs> when Father was done, my wrist was lighter. That's right. Well, the word of God come along to scrub you that's good. Right. That's right. And that's the problem with religion. That's right. You've been not washed at all. We'd say to the seer, see not. Hear this In now. I want to show you the condition of the people. Of the people. Follow me. In the book of Isaiah, chapter 30, we'll start at verse 9. All right. That this is a rebellious people. Look at here. Amen. This is a rebellious people. A stubborn, hard head, hmm. self righteous, yeah. arrogant. Yeah. That's right. Rebellious people. People. Oh, yeah. That's right. You want to get a fight out of people? Just talk about God. <laughs> out of all the preachers on social media, we're the only holiness preacher mm -hmm. that people attack. Amen. That's true. They don't attack nobody else oh, because no. they know ain't no one else telling them nothing. That's right. But uh, people have wrote me, cussed me out. You ain't got no right to tell people to leave their church. Oh, yes, I do. Oh, That's yes, you true. do. Leave your church. Leave get it. out of it. Get out of let it. Let the preacher get a job and go to work or let them die hungry and broke and let them go to hell. That's right. Leave your church. That's Leave right. it. Come out. The Bible says. 2 Corinthians 6 and verse 17. Do what? Come out from among them. Come out from among them. Wherefore, come out from among Do them. Do you hear this? That's right. Give chapter and verse again. 2 Corinthians chapter 6 and we're at verse 17. Some man preacher wrote me. He said, ain't no, Jesus ain't never told nobody to come out the church. The apostles told him, you fool. When the fool. apostles told him, Jesus told him. That's, That's right. right. Jesus told his apostles, he that hear you, hear, hear me. me. That's right. And he that despise you, despise me. That's right. Yeah. You think that this teaching of Jesus is just red letters in your Bible? Are you that blind? <laughs> Amen. What about Bibles that don't have no red letters? That's right. That's right. Everything that the apostles preached is the teachings of Jesus. That's right. The Bible says whatsoever things were written a full time are written for our learning. Our learning. That we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. Amen. My hope is in the scriptures. Amen. You that are watching and you that are here, that's what I want your hope to be. That's right. Not in money. No. Not in prosperity of materialism. No, no. If God give you that, fine. Fine. But the greatest prosperity you can have in this life yeah. is the wisdom and knowledge and understanding of who God is That's right. and what God's purpose is concerning you. That's right. You can have all the money in the world. You don't know who God is. You're, you're going to die a poor fool. Amen. Listen now. 2 Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 17. All right. Wherefore, come out from among them. Stay there. Come out from among them. To all of you musicians that are watching me. Mm. Mm -hmm. Come on, Jack. All of you pastors that's in these organizations. Amen. UPC and UPCI, mm. PAW and FX, all these alphabets they got. <laughs> that's right. FX and HR and FXX and all these different, Kojak. <laughs> Kojak. All these different uh, acronyms. Come out of these churches. Come out. Everybody that's in the church of God in Christ got to be baptized over. Don't you know that? That's right. I want to say what? Yes. Don't you know the whole organization baptized wrong? That's right. You didn't obey Jesus. None of you. None of you. Unless you got it like Acts 2.38. That's right. Don't you know Jesus said, baptize in the name of the Father, Father. Son, and the Holy Ghost. Yes. And you got all these organizations baptizing Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost and not in the name of. That's right. You got to go back to water. Back to water. The name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost is Jesus and he's the Christ. Just like the name of this son, husband, and father is Jesus. It's Jennings. Jennings. Right. My name is Jennings. I'm a son. <laughs> Husband and father. That's right. The name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost is Jesus, and he's the Christ. That's it. So to be baptized in his name, you got to call the name. Think of it. Think of that. All of these organizations baptize wrong. Think of that. Church of God of Christ, Amen. Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Assemblies of God, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. 
Church of God and prophecy, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. That's right. Church of pillar, ground, and truth, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. That's right. Church of Christ, Father, Son, and Holy That's Ghost right. upon the authority of Christ. That's right. The Catholic, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Yeah. Protestant, all of you. All of them. None of you have been baptized, right? That's right. Since your organization been started. That's right. Can you imagine what will happen when you stand before God? Imagine that. Now, God sent me along, and I know that statement alone bother you. <laughs> Amen. But God did. I've never been to a Bible college, never been in no seminary school since I've been born. That's right. The Lord God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob That's right. sent me along to call the world's hand Amen. to come back to Bible. That's right. All of you ministers that are baptized, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, you're not a preacher. No. Because your sins have never, hear me good, yeah. never been washed away. Been Glory washed to God. Away. You're still in your sins. That's right. Every last one of you that was baptized, That's right. Father, Son, and, and Holy Ghost. Ghost, you're still in your sins still. right now. Right now. That's right. Never been saved. Never. Sins never been washed away. No. Someone said, when I got the Holy Ghost, that washed away my sins. No, it do not. No, it does not. The Holy Ghost wasn't given to wash away your sins. No, no. For the Holy Ghost is not the blood of Jesus. That's right. The Holy Ghost is the Spirit of Christ. That's it. Yeah? That's right. Who would take God in order to notice? Give me John, I believe, uh, 1934. Yeah. Let's see what happened when they pierced him in the side, and then you better give me figures 1 7. 1 7. I want this to be good for everybody that's here and anybody that's here if you claim you're a preacher. I don't care how long you've been a preacher 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. You can go multiplication rock all you want. That's right. But elder, pastor, bishop, evangelist, you got to come back to the Bible That's right. and see can you find anybody in that Bible baptized the way you are. Amen. And I'm telling you right now, you won't find not one. No, you won't. Baptized, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. That's right. And you better not tell me that the apostles didn't obey Jesus. That's right. They obeyed him. They obeyed him. He told them to go into all the world baptizing them in the Amen. name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. That's right. And if you look every place where they baptize, they call that name. That's right. They baptize in the name of Jesus Christ. That's they right. didn't do what you fellas are doing. Right. No. Going out repeating Jesus. No. They didn't go out repeating them. They went out obeying them. That's it. That's the difference. That's right. You fellas are repeating him. That's it. I baptize your name in the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. He ain't said repeat him. No. He said Baptize them in the name in the name of the Father. Of. That's it. You see the difference? That's right. You repeated them. They obeyed them. They obeyed them. Your pastor didn't obey them. Oh, no. no. So many of you got sinners for overseers. Yeah. Sinners for an imagine an apostle. Right. Not baptized in the name Not of baptized. Jesus Christ. He baptized Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. That's right. Then baptizing his followers. Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Everybody got to come back to everybody. Bible. That's right. Everybody. I don't everybody. care what name of your organization, who's your bishop, how old, how long you've been around. You got to come back to Bible or else suffer and punishment eternally. That's right. Listen at this now. St. John chapter 19 and at verse 34. Parliament. But one of the soldiers with the spear pierced his side. Because many say they got the Holy Ghost. And that uh, washed away their sins. Oh, no, it don't. Oh, no, it doesn't. Oh, no, it don't. You better read John, and then I want to get Acts. Right. Amen. Arise. That's uh, right. And then I want to get Ephesians. That's right. Amen. And then I want to get the fifth chapter, the book of Ephesians. That's right. I got to get all of get it. Get all of it. All right, come on, William. St. John chapter 19 and verse 34. My book says, why you always preach this baptism over the air? Because I got to get the world continuously. And there's billions that have not billions. obeyed it. That's and right. I got to keep plowing and plowing and plowing because there are millions are hearing it for the first time. That's right. That's right. That's right. They're hearing it for the first time. That's true. And there are those that have been thinking they were a Christian for 20, 25, 30 years and ain't never been baptized right. They done bowed their head and raised their hands and they went off that. Amen. They went to some church and prayed some sinner's prayer and some old perverted elder, they held his old dirty hands. Amen. 
And they repeated some prayer, Lord Jesus, wash me white as snow white coming as snow. to my heart. I'm a sender, cleanse me. And the preacher said, you saved. You're not even safe. <laughs> Amen. Never mind, saved. You're not even safe. That's right. Come on back. That's yeah. right. Come on back to the Bible. That's it. Amen. Take that Bible that you're carrying around and obey what's in there. That's right. If you're not going to obey it, then give it to someone that's willing to follow what it's at. That's right. Come on, son. St. John chapter 19 and verse 34. What is it? But one of the soldiers with a spear pierced his side. Read that again. But one of the soldiers. One of the soldiers. Sound like you said one of the souls. No, one of the soldiers. Yeah, take your time and read it. Make it clear. Make it plain. Amen. That he that readeth may run. Amen. Come on, son. But one of the soldiers. One of the soldiers. With a spear. With a spear. Pierced the side. Pierced the side of and, Jesus, the son of the living God. And forthwith came there out. What? Blood and water. Now, how do you get his blood? Blood and water. Viewers, how do you get his blood? That's right. What is the purpose? Of the shedding of blood. That's right. Hear me good, viewers? A lot of you got this dry, clean salvation. <laughs> Amen. No water, no spirit, no dry, water. clean. How are you going to get those sinful spots off you? That's right. There's a solution that the Lord brought. Amen. A remedy. A remedy. You got dry, clean. <laughs> Amen. Go to some church, bow your head and raise your hand. Dry, clean salvation. Amen. That's now, what, I believe in my heart I am saved. That's dry clean salvation. That's, the, that's William's salvation. That's what I had, Pastor. Very dry. William's had that dry clean stuff. Very dry. And when you got that dry clean stuff, it's going to mess you up, and you're going to start believing there's more than one God. That's right. Dry clean. <laughs> that's right. Hey, Amen. I want you to follow me in the Bible. I'm asking you a question. How did you get the blood of Jesus with no water? Acts chapter 22 and Go verse Go back 16. to John. Listen at this. Back in St. John chapter 19 and verse I want 34. You to, I, want to, I want to connect Bible. Right. There's a reason why blood wasn't the only thing that came out. That's right. Listen at this. Acts chapter, uh, St. John rather. St. John chapter 19 and verse 34. Follow me. But one of the soldiers with a spear pierced his side. Then what? And forthwith came there out blood. Came out blood. And water. And water. And water. Came out blood. Blood and, and water. water. Blood and water. Without the shedding. That's right. Let's read that quickly. In the book With, of Ephesians. Come on, son. In Ephesians chapter 1 and verse 7. Without the shedding of blood. The book of Hebrews. Of Hebrews. Without the shedding of blood. That's right. right. There is no remission or no removing of sins. So then, how did you get your blood removed? Hebrews chapter 9 and verse 22. Hear this. Hebrews 9 and verse 22. That's what? And almost all things are by the law purged with blood. Almost everything by the law cleansed by blood. And without shedding of blood. Without shedding of blood. Is no remission. There's no removing. That's right. That's right. How you get your sins removed, viewers? Yeah, 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 yeah now. Amen. How did you get your sins removed? removed? Holy Ghost didn't wash away your sins. No. Holy Ghost is not given to wash your sins yes, away. Right. No. Amen. You better give it a book of Acts of the Apostles. Acts chapter 22 and verse 16. Follow me. Begin at verse 15. Acts chapter 22 and verse 15. That's what? For thou shalt be his witness unto all men. Yes. Of what thou hast seen and heard. And? And now why tarriest thou? Listen at the apostles preaching. Amen. Why are you waiting? Why are you waiting? And now why tarriest thou? Why tarriest thou? Arise. Get up. And be, and be baptized. No. Arise and be filled with the Holy Ghost. Arise and be baptized. No. Arise and speak in time. Arise and be baptized. You see, baptism play a major role. That's right. Arise and be baptized doing what? And wash away thy sins. How? Calling on the name of the Lord. Oh, you got to call on the Lord's name. That's right. To get your sins washed. Washed away. When they pierce them in the side, bless the name of God. Yeah. Out came blood, blood. And water. And water. And water. In order to get that blood, Amen. you have to go down in water. That's right. Ephesians 1, 7. In Ephesians chapter 1 and at verse 7. That's what? Ephesians chapter 1 and Come verse on, 7. Son. In whom we have redemption. We have redemption. Through his blood. Through his blood. The forgiveness of sins. Do you hear this? That's right. We have redemption through his blood and the forgiveness of sins. 
According to the riches of his grace. According to the riches of his mercy. That's right. Mercy called him to go to the cross. Glory That's to right. God. He died that we might live. Revelation chapter 1 and at verse 5. That's what? And from Jesus Christ. From Jesus Christ. Who is the faithful witness. Who is the faithful witness. And the first begotten the of first the dead. The first begotten of the dead. And the prince of the kings the of the earth. The prince of the kings of the earth. Unto him that loved us. Unto him that loved us. And washed us. And washed us. From our sins. From our sins. How? In his own blood. Yeah. And it pierced him in the side. What came out? Forthwith came there out blood and water. They pissed him in the side. What came out? Forthwith came there out blood and water. And Revelation said we are what? And washed us from our sins. We are what? Washed us from our sins. And Apostle Paul said, Why tearest thou arise? And be baptized. How? And wash away thy sins. Wait a minute. We got to be baptized to do what? And wash away thy sins. Yes, calling on the name of the Lord. You ain't been baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. That's right. You're still a sinner. That's right. Well, Pastor Dennis, I got the Holy Ghost. How can I have the Holy Ghost and not baptized? Very yeah. easy. Very easy. In the 10th chapter of the book of Acts, Peter was preaching to them of the Italian band. Wow, Peter yet spake Listen these at words. This in uh, Acts chapter 10, beginning at verse 44. Acts chapter 10 and verse 44. Glory to God. Wow, Peter yet spake these words. And many of you out there, and undoubtedly some of you here. Amen. I have the Holy Ghost, but you ain't baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. That's right. When you're born again, remember the teaching of Jesus. That's right. He told Nicodemus, except the man is born of the water and, and of, of the spirit. And of the spirit. Water and spirit. That's it. He can't enter in. See, if you just got the water or, and don't have the spirit, you're not fully born again. That's right. If you just have the spirit and don't have the water, water, still not born again. That's right. Amen. When you repent of your sins and be baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ, you got the water baptism. Yeah. But the complete new birth is water and, and spirit. spirit. Yeah. That's right. And nobody is born again unless you repent of your sins and are baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ and have the Holy Ghost speaking in other tongue as the Spirit of God give utterance right. like they have on the day of Pentecost. That's right. If you just got spirit and no water, no water. you got the Holy Ghost, yeah. but that didn't wash away your sins. No. You need the blood. Blood. Yes! That's yeah. right. That's right. Got to have the blood. That's okay. right. And to get that blood, I got to go in water. In water. That's why when he was pressed in the side, out came, came blood, blood. And water. And water. And water. Jesus calls for washing. That's right. Yeah. Hallelujah. Glory. Oh, hallelujah. Right. Jesus calls for washing. That's right. Ephesians 1 7. In Ephesians chapter 1 and at verse 7. What did he say? Ephesians chapter 1 and verse 7. All right. In whom? In whom we have redemption. We have redemption. Through his blood. We, we can be redeemed. Through his blood. Through his blood. The forgiveness of sins. The forgiveness of sins. According to the riches of his grace. According to the riches of his mercy. So if any of you here have been baptized, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, you didn't obey Jesus. No. You just repeated what was done. That's right. You didn't obey what was done. That's right. If I tell you to do something in my name, you're not going to say son, husband, or father. No. You're going to call my name Jennings. That's right. Jesus said, do it in the, in the name, name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. And the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost is not Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. No. He didn't say repeat me. He said, do it. Do it in the name. Do it in the name of the Father. Now repeat me. No. Do it in the name. That's right. You can't do nothing in a name unless you know that name. That's right. Neither is there salvation in any other. That's right. For there is no other name given under heaven among men whereby man must be must saved. Must be saved. That's true. All right. Let's go back to where we were, to the foundation of everything. Back in Isaiah chapter 30 and at verse 9. Follow me. Back in Isaiah chapter 30, and I'm at the ninth verse. All right, come that on. This is a rebellious people. This, you better begin at verse 8. At verse 8. Now go write it before them in a table. Now are you rebellious today, viewers, or are you that are here? Amen. Because this message of salvation rebels against what you got. That's right. <laughs> Look at how you claim you've been saved. Look at it. Be honest. Yeah. Be honest. And see, can you find anybody in the Bible baptized like you? That's Don't right. be a fool now and say, I'd rather obey Jesus than obey the apostles. I dare you to tell me the apostles didn't obey Jesus. That's right. <laughs> 
That's Everywhere right. the apostles went, they preached Jesus' teaching. That's right. But they didn't baptize one soul, no. Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. No, no. They obeyed what Jesus said and called that name. That's, name. That's right. How can you love that name so much and then fight it when it comes to baptism? Amen. Because you've been baptized, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, for the past 30, 40, 50 years, and now you've been listening to this message to realize you've been baptized wrong. Yeah. Don't get mad. Be thankful that God let you live long enough to correct the wrong. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What did he say, son? Now go right it before them in a table. Hey, what? Write it before them in a table. Yes. And note it in a book. Note it in a book. That it may be for the time to come forever and ever. Yes. That this is a rebellious people. Oh, it is. Oh, yes. Yes, sir. I'm a world traveler, and everywhere I go. Rebellious. I meet hard-head, stubborn people. That's yes. right. Thousands upon thousands upon thousands of letters just stack up in my office. <laughs> I got thousands that love it. Amen. But I got thousands that can't stand it. Amen. One man I was reading a letter this morning wrote me and said that uh, God had a son with him before Mary was born. He had a begotten son. Lord. You know that's a fool. That's a fool. You don't know what the word begotten means? That's right. When a thing is begotten, it's conceived. That's right. Mary wasn't in heaven. No. No. Mary never was in heaven. No, no. Man, Mary ain't there now. <laughs> no. The Son of God wasn't needed up there in heaven in the no. beginning. No. The Son of God needed was for earth. That's right. Yes. For what? To redeem us and to die for us. That's right. But when the fullness of the time is come. Listen at this. In Galatians chapter 4 and verse 4. Even so we was chosen and bound and under the elements of the world. But when the fullness of the time was come. When the fullness Fullness of time was come. Hold it. Night. If that natural body always exists, then the Bible wouldn't talk about a time, time. had to be fulfilled. That's right. Where there's time, there's an appointment. That's right. Fullness of time. Fullness of meaning time. Meaning now the time have arrived. That's right. Now the time have arrived. That's right. When the fullness of time was come finally came God sent forth his son wait a minute God sent forth his son and where did the Bible say he came from made of a woman nice I dare day. you to tell me there was a woman in heaven that's right nice he didn't send no flesh and blood human sacrifice from heaven no Heaven is not made for flesh and blood. That's right. If heaven is made for flesh and blood, then the church wouldn't need to be changed. That's right. The Bible said, behold, I show you a mystery, mystery that we shall not all sleep, but we shall be changed. That's right. We got to be changed to enter in. That's right. That's right. Don't you hear the Bible said the same thing that descended? Yes. It's the same thing and that ascended. 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 It ain't no flesh and blood come down. That's right. The Holy Ghost came down. That's right. And overshadowed Mary. That's right. And that same thing that came down yes. is the same thing that ascended up. That's come right. Wonderful. That's right. They have no revelation of Scripture. No. no Hallelujah. No. They don't know the mystery of the Bible. No. Here the Bible speaks plain but, here. But when the fullness of the time was come. Fullness of time. God sent forth his son. And the Bible speaks plain where he sent the son from. Made of a woman. Where the son came how? Made of a woman. Hold up. Come on, Jay. The moment it says made. Made. Right then it didn't take. That's telling you the physical body didn't always exist. That's right. Because when a thing is made, it come into being. That's right. God is not me. No. The flesh and blood body that was the sacrifice, that was me. That was me. Made. made of who? Made of a woman. Made of a woman. Made under the law. Now, wait a minute. On, During what period of time? Made under the law. When he got here, flesh and blood, Moses' law ruled supreme. That's right. Made under the law for what purpose? To redeem them. That to were, redeem them. To rescue them. That were under the law. For what? That we might receive the adoption of sons. Are you hearing this? Amen. Nice. Amen. The church <laughs> is set up on Bible. Yeah. That's right. And uh, 
The rebellious people rebellious, out here. Rebellious people. Rebel against the Bible that they claim they believe in. That's right. I get my greatest fight from so-called Christian people. Right. Yeah. Come on, Jay. Oh, yeah, because when you preach something that they're not used to. That's right. That's right. Some can't accept the fact their mother lied to them all their life. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's a hard pill to swallow. Oh, oh yeah. Your, your mother been lying to you. She done the best she can, but she's a liar. That's right. Your father done the best he can, but he was a liar and he was your pastor. That's right. That's a hard pill to swallow, oh, especially, yeah. especially when you've been ordained. Oh, yeah. In some organization and you got pride about your credentials. You think God care about your credentials? <laughs> Amen. No. Oh, no. You got people that got credentials and can't even drive. They got license. Yeah. Still can't drive. That's <laughs> My Lord. They got license, I said. My Lord. Be nice, King. Be nice. Be nice, King. Be nice, King. Still, still can't drive. My Lord. Hallelujah to God. Amen. Come on, William. That this is a rebellious people. Rebellious. Rebellious. And this is the way people are. Yeah. When they hear a lesson, uh-huh. but they're not used to it. That's right. right. They fight it. Right. Until the book said they speak evil of the thing they that they understand not. 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 Right. So to them, it's foreign like it was in the days of Noah. Yeah. That's right. Nobody was preaching it was going to rain no. until Noah come along. That's right. right. That's true. Nobody was preaching it's going to rain. It's going to rain. And look how long. 40 days. 40 days. Yeah. 40 nights. 40 nights of rain. Of sure. rain. And the people in Noah's day, they done what the people are doing now. That's right. Until Jesus said, as it was was. in the days of Noah, Noah. so shall it be when the Son of Man comes. That's right. They rebelled back then because the message was unique. It was different. It was foreign to them, but it didn't change the fact it was truth. And as it was in the days of Noah. Do you hear this? In the book of St. Luke, chapter 17 and verse 26. As it was. In the days of Noah. In the days of Noah. So shall it also be in the days of the Son of Man. So shall it also be in the days of the Son of Man. In the days of the Son of Man. They did eat. They did eat. They drank. They drank. They married wives. They married wives. They were given in marriage. They were given in marriage. Until the day that Noah entered into the ark. They kept that up right right. until the time Noah went into the ark. And the flood came. Flood came. And destroyed them all. It didn't matter how they behaved. It didn't change the water. It didn't stop the water from coming. That's right. Now, viewers, you can behave any way you want. Yeah. You can get in much unbelief as you like. You can cling to your mother's religion, your daddy's religion, how you was raised and all of that foolish. Hey, Bishop, Bishop, hold on to your title. That's right. None of that mean anything. No. When you see Jesus. That's right. Let's go. That's right. Jesus, hear me good, have never told nobody to be anything else other than holy. That's it. That's right. You can't find nothing else in that Bible that you brag about. No. You street preachers. Yeah. Or should I call them street noise makers? (laughs) That's right. Out there with little megaphones and little speakers hollering like some crazy fool. Amen. Come on and try to make Christians on the corner. Yeah. Nobody baptized. Nobody Nobody. to repent. Amen. I remember years ago when me and Williams was younger. We was coming from McDonald's, and there was a gentleman that met us on the outside. And, uh-huh. you know, when I meet these fellas, and I go along. That's right. I'm just setting them up for killing. Uh-huh. That's right. Thanks, Jay. And uh, he saw me and Williams coming out. He said, y'all two look like two intelligent young men. <laughs> and he had his tracks and his comic book pamphlets. And yeah. And he had his little Bible up under his arm. He said, have you accept Jesus? I said, oh, yes. Oh, yeah. William said, oh, yeah, accept Jesus. (laughs) He said, have you been born again? I wouldn't answer yes quickly. Mm -hmm. William's great to answer, and I hit him. (laughs) I said, don't say nothing. (laughs) I asked him, how how do you be born again? Mm -hmm. He pointed up at McDonald's Golden Arches. Yes, he did. Didn't he, Will? Yes, he did. He said, you can be saved right here on the McDonald's Golden Arches. That's right. I said, them arches right there? (laughs) That's right. That's that's right. He said, them arches right there. He said, how? I said, what do I got to do? 
He said, raise your hand. He said, repeat after me, Lord Jesus. After that was over, I said, wait a minute. That's right. Come on, your Bible a minute. Come on, Jay. I turned to Acts 38. That's right. I said, read that to me. He read, then Peter said unto them, repent. And before he finished, he closed <laughs> his Bible up and said, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. doesn't matter. That's, that's right. That's right. I said, this is your Bible from under your arm. <laughs> Amen. That's right. Oh, Amen. thank God. And he didn't believe, didn't believe what it. was even in that. No. He told me and William, it doesn't matter. That's right. I said, so I ain't got to be baptized? He said, no, you ain't got to be baptized. I said, so this bowing his head and raising hands, that saved you? He That's said, right. yes. <laughs> I said, show me in the Bible. That's right. Mm -hmm. Where anybody got saved like that. That's right. right. He looked, and he kept yelling, it doesn't matter. That's what he said. And went walking down the street, and I went walking behind him, me and went. <laughs> I said, show me in your Bible. Amen. Nice. Amen. He got on the opposite side of Broad Street and went down in the subway. That's right. I told William, I said, we ought to go down this end of the subway <laughs> and counter him. Amen. Amen. Viewers, the devil has set up this makeshift religion yeah. that's, right. that's leading you to hell. You to, that's and right. the preachers have went to sleep. Yes. Oh. This is why you don't find nobody over social media standing firmly. Amen. And blasting the Bible no. loudly. No, no. No. That's getting anybody attention. That's right. This message is getting the attention of thousands. Oh, yes. yes. Don't like it. So many people write right. in and say, you know, I can't resist it. Don't like it. Right. One man said, Pastor Jennings is the friend that you don't like, <laughs> but that you need. <laughs> when you need help, you end up got to go into him anyway, but you don't like him. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, man, many don't like what we're preaching. You try to blame it on me. I didn't write the Bible. No. And I wouldn't dare write something like this. No way. If it left up to me, it wouldn't be no Bible. It would <laughs> just be creation, but no Bible. That's right. This is a hard book to obey. Oh, yes. But it's a book to guide you right into eternity. And it to guide you right if you obey it. That's it. What did he say there? That this is a rebellious people. Rebellious people. Lying children. Liars. Children. Children that will not hear oh, yes. the law of the Lord. They don't want to hear the God's law, law. Of the Lord. And that's all we're bringing. That's right. God's law. That's it. Never mind. Get Pastor Jennings out. The devil makes you look at me. You see that? He sound mean. He's the most angry man uh, I've ever saw. Some folks said that I'm, uh, I'm Trump's brother. <laughs> what? what? Somebody wrote me and said I'm a black version of Trump. My lord. I'm not a black version of Trump. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a version of Trump at all. Not at all. Not I'm at all. a preacher. That's it. Yes. Eh? That's right. Just when it comes to the Bible, you're mad that I won't play patty cake with you. That's right. Right. It's heaven or hell. Heaven or hell. Amen. See, I came up in the hood. Yeah. Nice. Either you know how to hold your hands yeah. or you don't. Come on, oh, yeah. And when we stood toe to toe, the body box, body box was not slap boxes. No. Slap no. boxes, you could jump on your toes. And... But when you went to the body, toe to toe, <clears throat> you was grunting, you was putting it out. <clears throat> And, 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 That's right. Slap box. Slap box. You bob and weave. That's right. This is the Old Testament. And this is the New Testament. Amen. You see, you folk want to go to the churches, and this is how your bishop handled the Bible. What? That's right. Oh, no. We handle the Bible, you're not going to get away from us. Amen. Then you know what 
God's agenda is. That's right. It's like a child that's never been whipped for nothing. Yeah. They can't take it to go into a disciplined atmosphere. No, no. They fold up and run. That's right. Because they like to be spoiled. Spoiled. God ain't gonna spoil you. Glory oh, to God. Oh, no. God brought the word to save you. That's right. Not to spoil you. That's right. What kind of people is it? That this is a rebellious people. Glory to God. Rebellious people. Hardhead. Lying children. Lying children. Children that will not hear the and law of the Lord. if you look at this generation, they're rebellious. Yes. Oh, yes. Younger and younger. Younger and younger. Look at the murder they're committing. That's right. Yeah. Look at the crime they're committing. Yeah. In elementary school. That's right. My daughter, who's a school teacher, was telling me, he asked me, Dad, did you hear about the young student, I believe, in first grade, was raped mm. by other, another, another student on the bus? Lord, my Lord. Six-year-old child. My Lord. My Lord. How can the other child mind be so warped to practice this? Mm. Yeah. In some cases, the child practice learned behavior. Yeah. What is being afflicted upon them? That's right. And then in other cases, because pornography yeah. is so available. That's right. Right on their cell phone. Right, right on the computers that they do homework. That's right. They learn and want to act out what they see. Yeah. That's right. Amen. Are you listening? They are wise to do evil. What? In the book of Jeremiah, chapter 4 and verse 22. I was watching a documentary the other night where they was talking about children of religion mm. being raped Lord. by parishioners, yeah. by mm. pastors. My Lord. And how people thought it was just a Catholic thing. No. But the one they was interviewing was a, was a Jewish brother. Lord. Who was being raped in the synagogue. My Lord. Along with other young Jewish boys. My Lord. By rabbis. Mm. This is a sick, sick society. Oh, yes. And if you stand up. And speak boldly and loudly against the criminal activity of religion. Oh, yes. Right there, you know what they say? He's mean. Yeah. yeah. No robber runs holding stolen merchandise. Yeah. And when the police come, hug him and say, What took you so long to get in? Man, I'm glad to see you. No. Yeah, that's right. The criminal that violate God's law. That's right. And had no desire to change. That's is right. greatly offended yeah. when you tell them what the word of God said. Oh, yes. Yeah. Listen at this. In the book of Jeremiah, chapter 4 and verse 22. That's what? For my people is foolish. Listen, do you hear this? Jeremiah, chapter 4 and verse 22. We're at verse 20. At verse 20. Yeah. Destruction upon destruction is cried. Yes. For the whole land is spoiled. Amen. Destruction. Upon destruction, Upon destruction is cried. It's cried. For the whole land, the whole land is spoiled. It's ruined. Suddenly. Ruined. Ruined. Whole land. This is a generation that spoiled, spoiled rotten. Oh, yeah. Want things, but don't want to work to get them. That's right. That's true. That's right. Amen. Lazy. That's right. Disrespectful. Disrespectful. Amen. Amen. Not responsible. Yeah. Self-righteous, self-will. That's right. Hard head. Hard head. What have gotten this generation like this? Because the generation comes from children themselves. That's right. The parents are nothing but children themselves. That's right. They're getting pregnant younger and younger mm -hmm. and younger and younger. And the mothers and the fathers have took their hands off the kids and let them run wild under your own roof. That's right. No discipline. Don't put nobody in check. No. Give them time out. Sit them in a the corner. Sit them in a the corner. And they just go in a corner and break dance. <laughs> That's right. Do the worm. What? That's right. 
When we were sent to the corner, we was rubbing our behind. See, so we went to the corner to rub the pain away. Amen. Amen. No discipline. No discipline. You teach your son. And when you tell your son or introduce him to others, mm -hmm. you say, this is my little dog. This is my little pimp. Yeah. What? You call your son a trash and garbage eater. That's right. This is my little pimp. This is my little womanizer. That's right. When do you call a pimp a dog or compliments? My Lord. That's downgrading what God made you. That's right. God said, I made you for my glory. For my glory. And he made man as his image and in his likeness to reflect the characteristics of God. That's right. But instead of reflecting God, you'd rather, you rather reflect weed. Yeah. You'd rather reflect cocaine. Oh, yeah. You think you've done something big because you got 13 women pregnant and you got about 17 different babies. My Lord. And you think you've done something great, even a roach. Hmm. Take care of its little roaches. That's right. That's right. Am I right, I say? That's yes. right. What is that? Destruction upon destruction. Destruction! Upon destruction upon is cry. Upon destruction is what? It's cry. It's cry. For the whole land is spoiled. Even grown men spoiled. Grown men. Yeah. Grown men get upset when they hear a tough preaching like this. That's right. I've met men brag they're from the hood, but they didn't get upset with me when I hit them with the scriptures. <laughs> That's right. Huh? That's right. They be like, oh yeah, Pastor Jennings, I'm from the hood like you. Then when I sidestep and hit them with the scriptures. What are you going to talk like that for, Pastor Jennings? That's right. What you from? I thought you from the hood. <laughs> Amen. Come out of these weak churches. Yeah. A weak church affect your manhood. Oh, yeah. Am I right, I said? That's right. A weak church will affect your manhood. Manhood. Where in God's church will reconstruct your manhood because you ain't never been a man until you obey God. That's right. That's right. You ain't no man That's until right. you obey God. That's right. Go ahead. You think you're a man because you have sex? Mm. Dogs have sex. Go ahead, brother. Rats have sex. That's right. Possums have sex. Go ahead. Snakes have sex. Go ahead. Come on, James. Sex don't make you a man. No, no. no. Oh, no. All right, listen to the old troublemaker. That's right. What if God says what? For the whole land is spoiled. Whole land. Whole land. They spoil. Spoiled. And because they're spoiled, that spoiling came right up in churches. Oh, yes. Preachers don't stand up against Nothing. Nothing. No. They go along with everything. Everything. That's why. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I thank God much for the truth of God because it stands out by itself. That's right. Oh yeah. Stands out all by itself. That's right. Many try to imitate it yeah. and don't do a good job. No. No way. Hey, man, they don't even do a good job imitating it. <laughs> that's right. What is it about this message that's so strong? so strong? It's the authority of God that's in it. That's it. You look at Pastor Jennings. Right. It ain't Pastor Jennings. No. That's right. People are shocked when they see all these men. Because you know men ain't attracted to church. Only time a lot of men go to church is they're doing women shopping. That's right. Oh, yeah. They look like the women on the choir because the women on the choir look just like club dancers. Yeah. That's true. They sitting out there counting how many passion marks she got on her neck. Oh, yeah. How deep is the cleavage of her blouse? That's right. How long is the split that is in her dress and skirt? That's right. So here come there clapping and saying like with you. Go tell it on the mountain. Oh, mother. Yeah, he's sitting there right with you. Right with you. You saying we shall overcome? He's there. We shall overcome. He look at you and say, you're right. You're going to overcome. <laughs> yeah. He's like, I'm going to make sure you overcome, girl. That's right. 
That's right. So it blows viewers' mind when they see all these hundreds of men. Amen. Men that are from the hood know a real man. Amen. When they see a real man. Amen. And a man that's a real man don't mind being led by a real man. No man. That's right. When we was in the hood and go and mix it up, we don't want no weak, scared man leading us in our rumble. No way. See, when I came up, and if we mixed it up with Cowan Street or Lacoman Street or 13th Street, mm -hmm. the one that said, come on, let's mix it up, he never was sitting back. No. Oh, he was right out there with us. That's right. We was right out there with us, just going at it. That's right. But today, not today. There is no, hardly no religion out here that will stand up and fight for God. No. You will fight for money, fight for yachts, fight for wealth. That's right. But when it comes to standing up for God, that's right. You are set out. That's right. Amen. You are set out. Set just out. like prostitutes on the street. Yeah. Oh yeah. Any trick huh. that religion wants you to do, yeah, you will do. You'll do it. The preachers out here will do any trick. Oh yeah. To hold that money oh, and yeah. to hold them people. But when it comes for God, yeah. scared. Scared. That's why they think something is mentally wrong with me. That's right. Because I can't be bought. That's I right. can't be bought because I'm not a hoe. Amen. I'm not for sale. That's right. Amen. You cannot offer me nothing. Nothing. Wonderful. I had several people write me and say, oh, you say that, but no one offered you the right thing. What can you offer me if they have never been presented on my table? That's Come right. On. You offer me Rolls Royce and Bentleys, that been offered. If that's what I want, I go buy one. Yeah, wonderful. That's right. Wonderful. You offer me a yacht, I've been offered that already. If I wanted one, I'll buy one. Buy one. I don't want to buy one. I don't know how to sell no yacht. <laughs> Amen. I ain't going to trust no one else selling it because then they sink me. <laughs> You been off the private planes? Yes, sir. You Do you want it? No. I don't want no private plane. Wonderful. I'm satisfied getting on what we get on, regular flight, go where we have to go. That's right. I don't need that stuff. Wonderful. Wonderful. What I need is what I got. That's right. That's God himself. That's right. That's what the world needs. That's right. You got sucked. Into materialism. Yeah. Until the materialistic things of this life had choked God out of you. That's right. If God bless you with the warehouse full of cars, yeah. don't let that warehouse possess you. No. If God bless you with a mansion, fine, but don't let the mansion possess you. That's right. If God bless you with an Olympic pool, and it take you five days to go from one end to the other. To the other. When you start, have God. When you end up on the other end tired, you better have God. That's right. Get your priorities in order. I'm straight up. The word of God says what? Destruction upon destruction is cried. And what else? For the whole land is spoiled. The whole land is spoiled. Suddenly are my tents spoiled. Suddenly are Suddenly my tents spoiled. Places where they do well. Yeah. That's right. Spoil. And my curtains in a moment. Curtains in a moment. How long shall I see the standard and hear the sound of the trumpet? How long? How long? Shall I see the standard? See the standard. And hear the sound. And hear the sound of the trumpet. This is the trumpet. This is the trumpet. Yes. The trumpet is bigger than holding up a physical horn. That's right. The trumpet also is the voice of the preacher. Of, that's right. Given the book of Isaiah. Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 58 and verse 1. Follow me. Cry aloud. What? Cry aloud. Hallelujah. Thank you. Amen. The Holy Ghost says do what? Cry aloud. And what else? Spare not. Spare not. not. Mean don't lighten up. That's right. Do what? Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. 
What should we do? Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. What should we do? Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. For what reason? And show my people their show transgression. my people their transgression and the house of Jacob. Their sins. Cry aloud. That's plain. That's plain. That's why I got my voice so wide and so big and so loud. So loud. He didn't say lift up, your, lift up my voice as a flute. <laughs> no, no. Like a trumpet. Hallelujah. As a trumpet, a wake-up call. That's it. Not a flute. <laughs> That's right. No. No, no. Not a banjo. <laughs> Amen. No. Not voice like a little rubber band. No way. Trumpet hitting every note. That's, That's right. right. Interrupting all your rest. No. That's right. You know, if you're sleeping in a good, comfortable sleep, and your little son who got trumpet lessons come in your room and then put that trumpet right to your ear right, right and start you blowing it and make you jump clean out the bed, you will be so angry. That's right. That's the way I am. That's right. I like that little kid that come right in the midst of what you're doing and blow that trumpet full blast. Full blast. That's why so many of you are so angry. That's right. That's right. This trumpet is being blown for your safety. Being blown. Oh, yeah. And for your protection. That's right. And for your development in God. Amen. The trumpet is telling you, come off the streets of America and the world. Yeah. Lay down your cigarettes and your pipe and your That's joint right. and your blunt. That's right. Lay down your Budweiser and your gin and your Jack Daniels. That's right. Lay down your club and your party and your strip tease club. Yeah. Amen. 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 I was looking out, reading a letter. A uh, woman heard me preach against pole dancing, and she said she incorporated modesty. I was preaching against pole dancing and how women look out here dressing half naked, and she said she incorporated modesty in her pole dancing. Mm. How in the world you do that, I don't <laughs> know. My Lord. I ain't never heard of no modest dress stripper. No. No. <laughs> no. Oh, no. no, no. I mean, what are you going to be on a pole in a long skirt, oh. a blouse up to your neck, and a hat? And a hat. <laughs> if men look at you, they're going to be like. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's right. See, if you get their attention, it's because they're going to think something wrong with you. That's right. A, a modest pole stripper. A modest pole dancer. Amen. Are you getting what I'm telling you? Cry aloud, spare not. Cry loud. Spare not. That's like a woman say, I want to get a tan. Yeah. You can't get no tan on the beach and your body fully covered. No way. You got your head covered, you got your blouse covered, your all your arms covered and full length skirt and all that. No. You may got your feet showing, that's about it. Your feet come out dark and anything on you. <laughs> Amen. Are you getting what I'm telling you? Amen. Oh, yeah. Holiness Amen. come, put everything in place. Oh, yeah. Because without God's way, our life is totally in a wreck. That's right. Listen. Cry aloud, spare not. Cry loud and don't spare. Lift up thy Lift voice up like a your trumpet. Your voice has a trumpet. And show my show people their transgression. My people their wrong. And the house of Jacob their sin. And the house of Jacob their sin. God says, show them. Show them. Right. Whether I show it to you preaching over the pulpit or show it to you one on one, mm. I'm going to show it to you. That's right. Amen. That's right. If I show you open over the pulpit or if I got to deal with you one on one, yeah. I will never give you my views or opinion. I'm going to point you to what the Word of God said, right. and I don't care who you are. That's true. Yeah. Amen. That's right. Go back to where we were, son. Back in Isaiah chapter 30 and verse 9. Follow me. That this is a rebellious people. This is a rebellious. Look at yourself now. Rebellious. Amen. See, are you rebellious against God's word? That's right. Many of you that are watching now, you rebel against this every chance you get. Oh, yeah. Amen. That's why some, this is why I want to, I keep telling you viewers, when these men or women pop up on YouTube or other forms of social media, TikTok, what a sock, whatever it is. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and uh, make these little videos just yelling about Pastor Jennings. You haven't caught on yet why they use my name. Right. 
They use my name because it automatically draws viewers. That's, true. that's right. And that's all they want. That's right. And then you waste time going back and forth with these fellas yeah. and these women. Go on, don't argue with don't none argue of with them. them. Let them call me anything. They can call me the son of Sam if they like. That's right. It doesn't matter. Let them alone. The, Jesus said. Matthew 15 and verse 14. What? Let them alone. Argue with them. Let them alone. Go back and forth with them. Let them alone. Keep antagonizing them. Let them alone. Jesus said, let them alone. They be blind they leaders. They be blind leaders. Of the blind. Of the blind. And if the blind, and if the blind lead the blind. Leave the blind. Both. They both. Shall fall into the shall ditch. Shall go to hell. That's right. Nice. Both. Don't argue with these fellas, whether they're young, some of them like they're so old that they be, should be my great grandfather. My Lord, my Lord. One man got so mad, he, he had on his heading Pastor Jennings as a so and so liar, a so and so. <laughs> my Lord. Mad. Mad. Amen. My Lord. And, and I don't want no viewer to try to pose or pretend like they're me. That's right. That's right. Because I, I, anyone that knows me, I have never right. responded to anyone over social media by sending emails or typing in the comment. That's no. Right. I don't do that. No. Amen. If I'm going to respond, this is how I do it right here. <laughs> That's right. Otherwise, in that, I turn my back, and to me, you in the land of the lost. <laughs> That's right. I don't even know your name and don't want to know it. Don't want to know it. Amen, because you're less than nothing. That's right. What did it say? That this is a rebellious people. Rebellious. Lying children. Liars. Children that will not hear the law of the Lord. And what do they say to the preachers? We say to the seers, see not. That's what they tell the preachers. That's right. Don't you see the things of the Bible? That's Re right. Hey, hey, Rev. We don't want to hear nothing about them. We can't have no women preachers. Oh, no. My mama is a preacher. Amen. No! My wife is a preacher. Yeah. They say to the, to the what? We say to the seers. To the seers. See not. Don't you see this? And to the prophets. And to the messengers. Prophesy not unto us right things. Prophesy to us things that are right. Speak unto us smooth things. The only thing we want that comes from you mm. is things that don't hurt us. That's prophesy right. what kind? Smooth things. Oh, let the women preach. Oh, yeah. Smooth. Let the women be bang. Let us live. Oh, no. Let us live together, and not marry. That's right. Let us divorce all we want. Yeah. Let us have our concubines. That's right. Hmm? Smooth. I remember some old false prophet down in Texas wanted to debate me about <laughs> marrying a woman, and you find out she wasn't a virgin. Right. Uh huh. And he said, if you marry a woman and she lied to you about her virginity. And uh, you can get rid of her. I wanted to see how far would this nut go with this. <laughs> and I said, all right, Bishop. Suppose the second one, you find out it's not a conversion. He said, oh, get rid of her too. Mm -hmm. I said, suppose the third one not. He said, get rid of her. He said, you ain't got to keep going with this. He said, I don't care how many you have. That's right. Just try them all. Try them all. What? Until you get that version. That's right. Then what man will find a reason to get married? That's right. Right. The man, right. when that man get tired of you, he'll just laugh. You ain't no virgin. Come on, get another one. <laughs> Amen. Such trash, That's raggedy, trash. hellish. Oh, yeah. Simple minded teaching that some fool will follow. That's right. Are you listening to the old oh, man? Yeah. We'd say to the seers, see not. You see, the church run the preacher today. Oh, yeah. You want to know how they run them? All you got to do is give them a little bit of money. That's true. That's right. Have you ever been at a church and a preacher got up and preached and then came by and said, before you finish, if I offended anyone, I yeah. say I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. If I hurt anyone, yeah. I say, I apologize. I apologize. If I hurt your feelings, I said I'm sorry. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I wouldn't care if I took your feelings and burnt them down. Amen. When I tell you what the Bible says, you will never get me to apologize. No. You're going to take out a 38 and put it to my head. Apologize. I tell you never. That's right. I tell you never. That's right. You won't save your life. He's going to seek to save his life. 
shall lose it. Shall lose it. He that loses for my name's sake shall, shall find, find it. it. That's right. All right. That's what the Bible says. The Bible says. And that's what I believe. Lord, Hallelujah. I believe it. That's right. Care nothing about your 38, your 45, your Uzi, nothing. For whosoever will save his life. Listen at this. Matthew chapter 16 and verse 25. My life been threatened so many times, I'm numb to it. Mm. Wonderful. People still write to me, if you come mm. to this town, to that city, we're going to kill you. We're going to blow up your convention center. Mm. Somebody wrote and said they're going to blow up the convention center in, uh, uh, in April. Lord have mercy. Don't stay home. <laughs> That's, right. That's right. Because I'm going to be there. That's right. Nice That's right. Wonderful. Go ahead. Go Take ahead. more than talk to get me moving. That's right. Oh, yeah. That talk don't move me. No. They're not threatening none of these preachers. No. These preachers got mega churches. They ain't threatening them. Oh, oh no. no. They're not threatening them because all them preachers doing is licking you. That's right. That's true. And you, it feels so good to you, you getting in all kind of positions. <laughs> Hold it. Amen. Here you come laying your head here. Oh, yeah. Here you come putting your leg out there. <laughs> we come work on you with Bible. With the Bible. Here's a man that's not scared of threats. Nobody. That's I've been getting them too long. Amen. Next year, I've been pastoring for 40 years. Yes! Wow. Pastoring 40 years. Wow. Nice. Wonderful, man. Wonderful. Wonderful. That's wonderful, brother. 40 years. 40 years. Next year, I would have been pastoring 40 years. Nice wow. And been preaching almost 50 years. Mm. Almost preaching 50 years. My Lord. Can you imagine such? My Lord, my Lord. I ain't scared of nobody in the world. That's right. Like the message God gave us during the convention, who will stand up for me? Stand up for me. Wonderful. God will give the devil permission to do things. Yeah. Oh, yes. But see, would you live up to what you said? Yes. That's right. 40 years. 40 years. Mm. And we haven't flinched. No, you haven't. And God have took this message that's going around the world on such a magnitude. There was a time we couldn't get no convention center. No. Not to hold no service. Wouldn't be no reason to. That's right. We're being there like little ants. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Now that's the way it is almost every place we go. We go in town, there's not a branch church large enough to hold the meetings. Amen. Not one. We have instant congregations before we have buildings. That's right. Instant congregation before we have any building. That's right. We have a gospel that I can go in any place of the world. I can spin a map, close my eyes, put my finger on it. That's something. Buy a building and God will fill it up just like that. That's true. From what? Good old fashioned, hard, yeah, rough, holy this preacher. Not this old sugar stuff that these folks are telling you. No. Some just come visit because they watch us on television. Yeah. Or watch us on YouTube. Yeah. You better come visit us so you can obey this. That's right. You ain't discovered no magic water. You ain't getting younger. No. That's right. Time for you to seek the Lord, young man and young woman. Oh, yes. Time to get on God's side. Oh, yes. Are you getting me? For whosoever will save his life. Whosoever will save his life. Shall lose it. Shall lose it. And whosoever will lose whosoever his life for will my lose sake. lose it for my sake. Shall find it. That's what I rest on. Oh, yeah. That's what give me, hallelujah. That's what give me boldness to go anywhere and everywhere. Hallelujah. Go back to where we were so I can knock off. Everybody all right? Yes. Follow me and get this. Back in Isaiah chapter 30, we're at verse 10. Yes. Which say to the seers, see not. They tell the preacher, the churches today rule the preachers. They rule the preachers. Or the board of directors rule them. That's right. Close your eyes to what's going on here, Bishop. That's right. Don't see what the see Bible not. says. Man. And to the prophets, prophesy not unto us right things. That's something to tell a preacher, isn't it? Yes, it is. Don't, yeah. don't you tell us nothing right. Don't tell us we shouldn't be smoking. What? That's right. 
Don't tell us we can't party, we can't dance. Don't yeah. tell us that. Don't tell us that. Pastor Jennings, I know it's wrong, but it's a struggle. But God will help you overcome that struggle. Oh, yeah. Yes, he will. Oh, yes. There's not a struggle that you have in your life. Hallelujah. You become serious and buckle down. God will help you overcome all struggles. Yeah. Hallelujah. That's just right. can't talk about it. I know, I know. Hush all that up. That's Buckle right. down. That's right. Glory to God and do what God Almighty required. That's it. He said, if my people which are called by my name, my name. humble themselves, themselves and pray, and pray, pray. seek my face, and then turn, turn from their wicked ways. From the hallelujah, from their wicked way. He uh, said, then will I hear from heaven. Will I hear from heaven. And will forgive their sin. And I'll forgive your sin. And will heal their land. Or take God. He said, I'll heal you then. That's oh, right. yes. Oh, yes. If he said he'll heal you, he letting you know that he'll bless you to overcome everything. Yeah. Hallelujah. Just follow the steps that he outlined. That's, That's right. it. Stop trying to take shortcuts. That's right. It ain't no shortcuts to God. No. You have to do it God's way. Oh, no. Are oh, you listening to the old man? Amen. What did he say in Isaiah? With Saints, back in chapter Isaiah, verse. Isaiah chapter 30 and verse 10. What is it? With say to the seers, see not. See not. And to the prophets, prophesy not unto us right things. What do the people want? Speak unto us smooth things. What, do the, what kind of preaching do the people want? S prophesy deceits. What kind of prophecy and preaching do yeah. the people want? Prophesy deceits. That's why they love motivational speakers. Motivational speakers. Imagine somebody actually want you to lie to them. Mm. Yeah. Prophesy deceits. deceits. Trick me. Yes, Duke me. That's Con something. me. That's I don't want you to be serious with the Bible. I want you to play with them. Yeah. Oh, yes. Amen. Listen. Get you out of the way. Oh, what way they want you to get out of? God's way. God's way. Yeah. Get you out of the way. Turn aside. Turn out aside. Of, out of the path. Out of the path. Call the Holy One of Israel. The Holy One of to, Israel. To cease from before us. Do not hold God in God front of in us. Life. That's Can you right. imagine people having that attitude? That's right. I know people like this. Oh, yeah. Family members. I don't want to hear nothing about no God. That's true. That's right. People that once was baptized had the Holy Ghost speaking in tongues. I know some of them. I don't want to hear nothing about God. Oh, Lord. That's true. There's a in-depth hate. Yeah. I send the bosom of people. Yeah. Oh yeah. And it's get worse and worse. And worse. You talk to him about God, you almost start a cussing match. That's right. They look at the religion that they had for years. Uh-huh. And you ask them, well, mama, we, you know, we've been Baptists for all our life. Have you ever thought, is it in the Bible? I don't care if it ain't in the Bible. I'm going to be it anyway. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> That's true. Amen. Ask your Pentecostal father. Hey, Dad, why we got all these women preachers and celebrate Christmas and Easter? Oh. Yeah. You disrespecting me, young man. <laughs> That's what they'll say. Well, Dad, is it in the Bible? No, it's not in the Bible, but there's nothing wrong with it. Right. That's true. But, Dad, don't we supposed to believe the Bible? Well, some things you can overlook. What? That's what they'll say. That's what, pro prophesy. Yeah. Prophesy deceits. 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 Yeah. Dad, how is it that mama been ordained an evangelist? Hmm. Women priests ain't never been in the Bible. It ain't got to be in the Bible, but it's in our church. Yeah. But don't the church supposed to be ran by the Bible? Yeah, but I got to say so too. <laughs> prophesy what? Prophesy deceits. That's true. What do they tell the preacher? Get you out of the way. Leave the Bible alone, Reb. <laughs> That's yes. right. Leave it alone. I met some people that came to one service. 
I believe it was at the convention. Uh -huh. They used to be under some so-called apostle, Johnny Washington. He's dead now. He had a big church in Jamaica, New York. Had women preachers and all that stuff. And he baptized you two ways. Mm. Because we got some folks here that came out of that. In fact, Minister Williams, the minister in Florence, South Carolina, came from under him. At one time, he was there. Baptized you both ways. If you want Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, he'd give you that so he don't argue with you. That's right. If you want the name of Jesus Christ, he'd give you that so he don't argue with you either. Yep. You know there ain't God apostle when the Bible said yes, one Lord, one faith, one, one baptism. baptism. God apostle stand for one baptism. That's right. And don't move from it. Oh, That's right. No. That's right. Prophesy what? Prophesy deceits. Oh, there's a lot of lost people lot under of... the heading of religion. Oh, yeah. And this is what we're laboring for, to bring the world, not just America, right. but the world back to Bible. Back to the Bible. Come back to Bible. Well, That's when you right. come back to Bible, that don't mean come back to being black or come back to being white. That's right. It mean come back to obeying God. That's it. A lot of you fools run to religions and say, I want a religion uh, to have black pride. You can have all the black pride you want, but if you don't obey God, see how far your pride gets you in eternity. <laughs> That's right. When the Lord appeared in the heavens, see when you stand before God. Stand there telling the Lord, black power. <laughs> That's right. Oh, no. That's see right. when you white folks stand before God. White power. Yeah. My Lord, my Lord. Holy Amen. You black and white infidels. Amen. You, nobody won't tell them like this. No. You are black and white infidel. I don't care if you're so black, you like the period of a sentence. Nice a talking period. A talking period. And a talking explanation point. <laughs> my Lord. If you're so white, you don't like snow with a suit. Mm. When you stand before God, before God, when you stand before God, my Lord, my Lord. these religions got you think only black folk going to be with the Lord, and these other religions got you think only white folk going to be with the Lord. They mm. both are sick. Both are sick. Both religions are sick. That's right. It's a sick religion. Oh, yes. Did you hear the Bible talking there? Get you out of the way. Get out of the way. Turn aside out of the path. Turn aside out of the path. Cause, Cause the Holy One of Israel. Cause the Almighty God to cease from us. To cease from before us. Get God out of our view. Get God out the picture. That's right. Bring your opinion. Bring, Bring your ideology. Bring your philosophy. Yeah. Bring how you feel. Bring how you feel. My job as a messenger of God to, is to bring you the message of God. That's it. Never mind your feelings and your opinions. <laughs> That's why I point the world to Scripture. That's right. They don't like it. They don't like it. But I point you to Scripture. They don't like it. They hate me for it, yeah. but I point you to Scripture. That's right. This is the most valuable thing under the sun. That's right. Hear this. Wherefore, thus saith the Holy One of Israel. Thus saith God. Because ye despise this word. Because ye do what? How do you feel about the word, Williams? Because ye despise this word. Is that you, is that you viewers? Hmm. Is that your mama? Amen. Is that your pastor? That's your pastor. Is that you? My Lord. Some folks say, well, when I come to church, I just get the meat and take the bones out. There ain't no bones supposed to be in there. No. That's right. The Bible said meats, meats for, for the belly, belly and belly for the for meats. meats. All I give you is meat. That's nice. It. Thick sirloin scripture. Wonderful. That's right. Amen. That's right. That's right. Amen. I'm not interested in no bones. The only bones I'm interested in is getting the dry bones living. Amen. Stand them up on their feet. That's it. And dress them up in scripture. That's right. What is it? Wherefore, thus saith the Holy One of Israel, uh -huh. because ye despise this word. You despise God's word. And trust in oppression. You trust in oppression. And perverseness. And perverseness. And stay thereon. And you stay on it. That's right. Yeah. What else? Therefore this iniquity shall be to you as a breach ready to fall. And what? Swelling out in a high wall. And? Whose breaking cometh suddenly at an instant. You hear that? Yes. Amen. You that are here, you that are watching, your end is coming. Your end is coming. Feel about me any way you want. I'm happy about it. 
That's right. But being mad with me and cussing me out, you'll realize it won't help you at all. Oh, no. It ain't one scripture that your anger will change. No. Your hatred won't change. The whole world must come back to what the word of God said. That's repent right. of your sins. Repent. Yes. What is repentance? God wants you to be sorry for being out there like a fool. That's right. Some of you repent and get baptized and then roll, go right back out there on the street and live like a fool. Yeah. You still haven't helped yourself none. No. When you die, you still will end up in a crisis grave ready for the judgment of God that casts you in a everlasting hell. That's right. The Bible says in Acts 2.38. Then Peter said unto them, repent. God wants you to repent. Have some remorse. Oh, yeah. Be convicted yeah. about your wrong. You're dancing. You've been smoking. In fact, you were smoking on your way here. Right in your car. Amen. Listening to the message. Right on your way here. I you know. and your second wife came. She's smoking and you smoking. Got your cigarettes in your pocketbook next to your lottery ticket. That's right. Some of you left your cigarettes in your glove compartment next to your 22. My oh, Lord. Amen. Next year, 22, and an old pack of condoms for your second wife. What? Am I right? My Lord. You see, we say what the preacher won't say. That's right. That's Hear right. the old man now. That's right. Someone said, you shouldn't have said that. I'll hush your mouth. Someone done used him on you two nights ago. He wasn't your husband. What you talking? <laughs> That's right. What you talking? What are you talking about? That's my problem with you, Pastor Jenner. You say things that's so vulgar. Pastor Paul said, having this hope, we speak great plainness with great plainness of speech. of speech. You know I'm telling the truth, Mr. Rain Man. That's right. Some of you women go buy raincoats for your Rain Man. Lord. Because you don't want him to get you pregnant. Or you don't want no, uh, no Herbies from him. That's right. Or no syphilis. Or no clap. <laughs> what? What? Go ahead, Go ahead, Jab him, jab him. You might as well come on back to church. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> Hear this. Then Peter said unto them, repent. You better repent, Mr. and Mrs. Rain Man. Repent. Amen. That's right. See, that statement caught folks off guard. <laughs> That's one of them off guard, undercover sins. Nice. Go ahead. Man. Amen. 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 I remember I preached this <laughs> some several months ago. Brother came to me to empty the trash in the bathroom. Uh -huh. Several packs was in there. Mm. In, the, in the trash. In the church? In the church. <laughs> <laughs> my Lord, my Throw Lord. Throw him away. Mm. Word got him. My Lord. Hmm? They was making plans after the church. Plans. <laughs> they was making plans after church to put on their London fog. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. My Lord. Amen. Amen. Ah. Mm. I don't have no filter in what I'm preaching. <laughs> no. You don't like it, that's your problem. That's right. I'm a very plain, very plain outspoken, outspoken preacher on everything. That's right. And many find it, they get on edge. Well, if you're innocent, what you on edge for? That's yeah. right. You're on edge because you know they're either in your wallet or in your pocketbook. That's or right. Or in your car. That's right. Well, you got several packs at home <laughs> with different fellas' name on them. <laughs> my Lord, my Lord. Mm. Hey, you notice you ain't get that much, <laughs> amen? <laughs> yeah. Amen. Amen. Bunch of guilty sinners. Guilty. 
Then they say, they say, you know, folks, preachers go to these false churches and get speakers offering. Ain't nobody going to want to give you no money to preach like this. No way. They put their middle finger up at you and walk out. That's right. That's true. God made me a preacher. And I'm not afraid of nobody. There's no subject that's off limits. Hear me good. Then Peter said unto them, Repent. Amen. Repent. Hear me good. Then Peter said unto them, Repent. Repent. Oh, yes. Amen. I see dead people. <laughs> 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 Amen. My Lord. Amen. See, many of you sitting here now guilty. Guilty. That's why you can't talk in tongue. Mm. <laughs> Preach it, man. Preach it, Pastor. Mm. My Lord, my Lord. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. That's why many of you can't talk in tongues. Can't talk. Oh, no. He come to your apartment or to your house. He ain't even got to bring no condoms. You got it all handy for them. My Lord. Got your own condom library. Mm. My Lord, my Lord. Get me. Then Peter said unto them, Repent. Speak in tongue over that. <laughs> over that. That's right. You take them pocket books and empty that trash in the trash. Go through your house and throw the trash in the trash. Go ahead, right. man. Go in your wallet and throw that mess out. That's yeah. right. Pastor Jenna, wait a minute, man. I don't want to get the one present. The Bible said flee fornication. Flee fornication. Amen. Are you listening? That's right. Keep your drawers on. Keep them on. Hear me, God? Then Peter said unto them, Keep your drawers on. That's right. Keep them on. Whether they briefs or boxes. That's right. Keep your drawers on. <laughs> If you married, you can throw them and throw them on the chandelier if you like. Amen. That's right. Amen. 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 Mm. Some men claim they born again and got the mentality when it comes to women. I want to try it before I buy try it. it. That's what they believe. Like a used, like a used car lot. <laughs> That's right. Try it before I buy it. Try it before I buy it. Try it before I buy it. Yep. But Pastor Dennis, I need to know whether I'm going whether I'm going to like it. No, you don't. No. Test drive it. Test drive. <laughs> How many are you going to test drive before you put the brakes on? That's right. How many times are you going to end up in the hospital getting the splinters out? Yeah. Because you test drove. Oh yeah. How many others are test driving it? Mm. Is there any treads left on the tires? Mm. How many times are you going to have the Pep Boys service in that car? Go ahead. Minnie Mo and Jack. That's right. That's something. Man. Where's, the Where's the pride? About five or six or seven or eight or nine, ten fellas in church know you. Mm. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. Where's the pride at? Yeah. It's something. Where brothers will sit in church and it's discuss something. your performance. Where sisters will sit in church and discuss his performance. My Lord. My Lord, my Lord. I have a gospel that's tougher than anybody's. Right. Oh, yeah. Mm. That's 
why they don't like me. I don't care if they don't. They ain't looking to be liked. No. Jesus is coming here. Yes, he is. You're either on God's side or you're not. That's right. Yeah, some have got up and went to other temples because this, they, they couldn't take it being their headquarters. Mm. Headquarters use Brillo pads. <laughs> That's right. Oh, yes. You want to go to the other temples that maybe they, you know, use a little dove and you know. <laughs> little oil of Olay. Wipes. That's right. That's right. That's right. Use, use wipes. Use wipes. <laughs> when I came up, I had to see my mother. <laughs> she would wash dishes with the dish rag. But when she done cooked a good meal, you get that SOS pad. That's right. I remember them things too. You take them things, come out that orange, that red looking box, <laughs> them Brillo pad. Take them out, and they have that suds all in it. <laughs> them things like to give you calluses yeah. on your fingertips. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. Old school. This is old school preaching. Old school preaching. Who would ever thought that today when people told what's right in the old school way, yeah. they find it offensive. That's right. This shows you that you're not like Christ. No. Because true followers of Christ, Jesus said, blessed is he not offended. that's not, not offended, in me. offended in me. That's what Jesus said. That's what Jesus said. There are many things in the word of God that hurt me, but none of it offends me. Offends you. There's a whole lot in here that hurts me. Oh, yeah. None of it offends me. None of it offends. Hallelujah. It'll cut down this worldwide child yeah. pregnancy. And your family will come back to the old teaching. That's yeah. right. No sex until marriage. That's right. You parents will come back to that old teaching. Old teaching. Then your 10 year old perhaps wouldn't be a mother. That's right. I say perhaps, perhaps. because in some cases you can have that old teaching, but you can't monitor that child 24 hours a day. When they no. go out from under your roof, you don't know what they're doing. That's right. That's right. Are you listening? Oh, yeah. Amen. Person can't make you do what you don't want to do. That's right. They just can't. That person can't make you do what you don't want to do. You don't want to kiss that woman, you ain't kissing her. You won't kiss her. I don't care if she looks so good, she got angel wings. You don't want her lips to touch yours, you just ain't going to kiss her. That's all. You won't do it. And then you got some men with the mentality, they don't care what she look like, nothing. That's right. If she offer it free, he, he going to get, you bring freely, he going to freely give. Freely, freely give. give, freely receive. Freely receive. That's true. That's the mentality that some have. Oh, yeah. They don't care what, what it look like. <laughs> they don't care if you're so dirty, flies is around you like pin, pig pen. That's right. Some women don't care either. As long, long as the money that comes from them is green. Hmm. We're hmm. living in a sick society. Oh, yes. We're laboring to bring everybody back the Bible. Yes! That's right. Everybody. Everybody. I am not striving for no popularity list, and I sure ain't trying to be friends with nobody. That's right. <laughs> I'm not Williams. No, you're not. I ain't trying to be your friend. Oh, no. I'm laboring to lead you to the kingdom of God. Amen. Hallelujah. That's what I'm laboring for. I'm not seeking friendship from nobody. For what? From nobody. Am I right, Frank? Amen. Amen. <laughs> repent. Then Peter said unto them, repent and be baptized every one of you. The other subject was so hot. Everything got quiet. Notice the amens came back came now. Back. <laughs> I ought to get back on it again. Maybe they die down. 
Then Peter. Then Peter said unto them, Repent. All right. Repent. And be baptized, every one of you. Don't you want to change your life sometimes? Yes. Change your life. Yes. You have to want to change your life sometime. Besides being out here acting That's like right. a fool. Look at the friends you came up with, and look how many of them is dead now. Yeah. They dead, man. Yeah. They died doing the same thing you keep saying you're going to stop doing. Mm. And they dead. You keep saying, I'm going to stop doing it. And you ain't stopped yet. That's right. You still smoke, drink, gamble, party, out there running with every woman out there. Throwing your money away at clubs about making it rain. <laughs> then you leave your club broke. Right. And all she did was give you a rump shake. A rump shake That's and right. a twirling of the breasts. <laughs> Jumped on you and That's bounced up behind on you between your legs. Yeah. And you just looking. <laughs> Taking money and putting it down to her thumb. Go ahead, brother. I'm a man. I'm a full thoroughbred, thoroughbred man. But I can never see going to a club and throwing my money away. Throwing it away. And all she did was shake her breasts and shake her behind. And now I'm left to go outside in the cold. What? That's right. Every week. Every week. All my hard working. Can't buy no groceries for my wife and kids. That's something. Can't even buy myself a pair of sneakers. <laughs> because I can't resist Club 44. That's right. Started going at 18. Now I'm 53. Hello. Still hanging out at oh, Club no. 44. When there were black hair, now I'm there like a silver fox. <laughs> with a pacemaker. What? Oh, Lord. And a hearing aid. Oh, no. <laughs> Walked in with a cane. With a and here cane. she come bouncing, looking back, and I'm sitting there with the cane shaking. <laughs> Man, you better leave before you die. Before you die. That's right. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> you better leave. <laughs> you better leave before you die. That's right. You got that heart running by battery, so you're going to put a shortage in that thing. Are you listening? Amen. What did he say? Then Peter said unto them, Repent. Repent. And be baptized, every one of you. Every one of you. In the name of Jesus Christ. For what? For the remission of sin. What did he promise? And ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Anybody want to obey the Bible and get right with God and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ and save your soul from save hell? Soul. If you want it, stand on your feet today. If you want to be baptized and get right, stand on your feet today. Wonderful. All of you that are standing, you see that gentleman over there? Yes, sir. Any women standing, just go where those women at on your side. Amen. Brother, this match is pulling men all the time, ain't it? Yes, it is. Amen. All you preachers, you might as well surrender, give up, That's leave right. your churches. Yeah. I don't care the name of your organization, leave it. Leave it. P-A-W-U-P-C, Church of Living God, Pentecostal, Apostolic. Get out of there. Yes! Out of Come out. Come out to churches where the women can preach and divorce and remarried is allowed. That's right. Living together, not married is right. allowed. And, amen. Baptized Father, Son, and Holy Ghost and bowing head and raising hands. Amen. Get that trash out of there. That's right. And get ready to come walk with the word of oh, God. Wonderful. All right. Wonderful. Thank God for all of you. Hallelujah. Now, for my traveling team, please remember, we got another business meeting at 4.30 to my traveling team in the conference room at 4.30. Prayer will begin at 5.30. God be our helper. Amen. Amen. Prepare ourselves again.
Yeah. Remember the month of March. First week of March will be in Valdosta, Georgia. Second week, Augusta. Third week, Atlanta. Yeah. Then we'll be getting ready for our International Holy Youth Conference in Greensboro, North Carolina. I hope everybody be there. All guests, all visitors, all friends, and all enemies of all races. Amen. You come on and get right with God before you die. Amen. Let us all stand. Hallelujah. Brother Minister Williams will close us out in prayer. Father God, we do come to you once again in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you, Lord Jesus, once again for blessing us and allowing us to hear thy word. Father God, bless us not only to be hearers of the word, but doers also. We thank you, Father God, for the souls that decided to go down in water in the name of Jesus Christ. Bless them and help them. Father God, fill all in any with the Holy Ghost. My God, speaking in tongues as the Spirit of God does give utterance. Father God, we thank you for the man of God. We thank you for the word that you put in his mouth. We thank you, Lord God, for the bold stand that you blessed him to be able to take. My God, we thank you, Lord God, that he only fears you. My God, and nothing and no one else. My God, we thank you for everyone that's here on today. Bless us and keep us and help us. We do pray and ask all these things in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen.